Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 14. Last night I had one skill point, but I went ahead and threw it into Miner 69er level 3, which allowed me to craft this level 4 iron pickaxe. I also started putting in the framework for the rooftop that's going to go above this platform that will protect us from birds. Let's go ahead and start upgrading this and then we'll finish building the framework for the roof and then all we'll need to do at that point is add in bars which I didn't get a chance to craft last night so we'll have to do that either later on today or tonight. Alright, now like I said, we just gotta add in the bars, which we should probably chop some trees down now so we have the wood to craft those later. Also, full hunger bar. It's because I ate like 30 fucking baked potatoes last night. I still have 19 on me and 4 pieces of pumpkin bread, so we should be good on food today. Can of peas, I'm good. We're good on food. Sugar butts, I'll take that. And the eye candy, and the rock buster candy. Alright. Let's go sell some shit to Joel. I actually brought sugar butts with me before we sell all this shit. We might as well eat it now. Joel isn't the type of guy that likes to watch me eat the butt in front of him, so I do that before I go in to see him. Hey, Joel. Yeah, I know. I ate it outside. Alright, well, a handful of things he wouldn't buy. Not a big deal. We'll hold on to those things for now. Let's see. Uh, ooh, level 4 AK. Yeah, we gotta buy that. Okay, let's just do it now. We need that thing. Gunpowder. Let's buy that. Bullet tips. Hobo stew. We can't eat hobo stew. It's made with rotten flesh, and we're not eating any kind of flesh. Uh, dart, we'll craft the darts for the dart trap, no need to pay for them. Pistol Pete, 9mm weapons degrade 20% slower, I'm gonna pick that up. That'll, that'll come in handy. Cement mixer, we can craft cement mixers. I'll buy this 9mm. Yep, all of that shit. All the shotgun ammo, even though we don't have a shotgun yet, we will eventually. Bullet casings. And this is all my shit, let's check his stash. 7.62. Bam! Magnum Enforcer, nah. Arrow Recovery, no thanks. Oh, Pump Shotgun Schematic. Yeah, we gotta buy this. We're gonna have to start putting points into, um, Boomstick, but that's fine. Gratitude. Get ourselves a Pump it's Shotgun so Crafted. They got some close by Buried Supplies and a really close by Fetch. Let's do that. Great. That should, that'll get us more loot and should get us a better reward. And it's like right around the block. Now one of the things I wanted to do today was go on a little mushroom hunt around this town. We we're going to look for the mushroom house and if we can't find that, I heard that there might be some mushrooms underneath the dumping lung, which I believe there is a dumping lung POI in this town. But uh, let's, let's go do the job first since it's like right here. Ah, the gear's POI. I like this place. And here comes a biker. Wanting to get his gears, I guess. Let's activate this quest. And we better deal with this guy. Hey, look at this. You're more accurate when rapid-firing 9mm weapons. Nice. Hey, listen, fuck off, dude. Damn. That first shot didn't even budge him. Alright, um... We gotta go through the garage. You could just bust the front door open and go right for the main stash, but we're not gonna do that here. We're gonna go the correct way. You gotta be careful though, there might be some dogs in the garage. There usually are. At least one. You got doghouse right there. See, that's usually a telltale sign that there's gonna be some zombie dogs around. Uh, let's get up here. I don't see... I don't see one. Usually you can see through that crack right there. Oh, another biker. Well. Oh, dead. And 
We did not wake up any dogs. What's going on? Huh? No fucking dogs in here. It's like when when you when you're expecting them, they're not there. It's when you don't expect them that you get bit in the ass. Level one pickaxe, we'll scrap that for the iron. Uh, I'm good on that shit. Let's check this crate. Sledgehammer schematic and motor tool parts. Let's grab this cobblestone. And you know what? Let's grab this cloth out of here. Because I know we're going to pick up more cloth today, so... What the hell? Where you at, bird? I know there's a bird up here. There he is. Come get some. Oh, <laughs> changed his mind? Nope. At first he saw it was me and was like, fuck. Then he was like, uh... Just might as well end it now, because eventually he's going to get my ass anyway. Alright, I guess we're hopping down onto that dirty-ass mattress. Hey, come on out of there. Whoops. That gotcha. First aid kit. Those have saved my life more than a few times. Glass jars. You can take that apart for a radiator. Scrap those nails. Or not. Oh, I still got a radiator. I guess you don't take those apart with the wrench, though. We'll take this engine apart. For an engine. That's two engines today. Good, because I certainly plan on adding power to the base. Scrap that pipe. I'm good on the feathers. Ooh, take that stuff. And it sounds like they just broke in. That was some honey we grabbed right there, which is a nice little grab. Hey, lady, back up. Let's try taking the shortcut, jumping over the counter. Didn't work out well for either of you fuckers. Oh, hey, nurse. I was waiting for you to pop out of the closet. There still might be one in the closet. Nope. We're clear. Ooh, wall safe. I don't have any lockpicks on me, though. I don't think I do. No. We'll have to beat into that thing with our brand new shiny pickaxe. Let's close this door. Check the nightstand. Ah, level 4 football helmet. Not bad. Let's grab the sledgehammer, take the ammo. I know we got zombies in there. Come on out. Oh, probably should have reloaded. Oh, shit. Where'd that guy come running from? Uh, I guess I should be more careful when the front door is wide open. I think we got another zombie out here. It's probably a crawler. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Chem station schematic in the chem station, which we've already read, and I actually plan on crafting a chem station tonight. I got the forged iron that we're going to need crafting in the forge, and we already found a beaker, and we have everything else that we're going to need. So, get one of those crafting in the workbench tonight, so we can start crafting gasoline, gunpowder, all the good shit that we're going to need. Actually, um, do we need the gas can recipe? Start crafting gas? I don't know. You'd think I would know. Because I play this game more than any game I've ever played in my life. But I can't remember all the small details. Plus, they're always changing shit. I'm like a blind dog and my owner keeps moving the furniture around. <laughs> oh, so it's not my fault. It's the owner's fault. Fucking bastard. I'm gonna scrap this pistol for the pistol parts so we can craft an SMG with it. And we are basically out of storage here. Uh, steel tool parts. We already have those. Great. Oh, shit. Missed this. Scrap the can, and I will, uh, scrap the flashlight, too. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. The satchel. <laughs> Almost left without the reason we came in the first place. Here it is. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff off on the bike because we literally have no inventory space. Hey, Joel, what you got for me? Ooh, 200 rounds and 9mm or 20 Molotovs. I've actually been thinking about how we can use Molotovs at the base, but I'm gonna go with the 9mm for now. And, uh, I think I got a couple of things I can sell him. This and, uh, that. And I think that's it. Safe travel. All right, Joel. I'll see you later. Let's go see if we can find this mushroom house. And if we can't find the mushroom house, maybe we can find mushrooms at the dump and lump. This is an interesting house right here. What do we got in the back? A little garden area? Uh, no. I don't think I've ever been in here. I'm gonna fight the urge to break in and check it out. We gotta see if we can find this mushroom house. This is another great POI to raid. And again, I'm gonna fight the urge to do it, even though we could smash into that garage and grab the main stash real quick. But again, just gonna grab this flesh and we'll be on our way. There's a vending machine. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to think of where else we can find mushrooms, and I'm at a loss. The only place I know of is the house with the mushrooms in the basement, the little mushroom farm, which is the POI we're currently looking for, and um, the caves. You know, there are usually caves out in the wild. Uh, they're boarded up. You can break in there. There's usually a couple of crates in there with the sleeping bag, and there's mushrooms all over the cave. But... To go driving out in the middle of nowhere looking for a cave, that, that fucking is going to get us nowhere fast. You know, the, the chances of us coming upon one of those little cave entrances is uh, slim to none. How about we raid this bakery? I mean, there's food inside. Mushrooms are food. Look at this theater right here. I hope they remake the theater and do it like a dungeon-style POI because it's not right now, but it definitely deserves to be. Because it's a crazy-ass POI, and I uh, would love to see them put some work into that place. Who knows? Maybe they did. They said there's like 145 new POIs coming to Alpha 20, and a whole bunch uh, of more POIs that they completely redid. So, uh, again, I would love to see the theater be redone. Let's see if we can grab some honey here real fast. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can find some mushrooms in the bakery. Oh, spider monkey. Come on down here, monkey. Oh, damn. <laughs> you all right? He hurt himself pretty bad right there. I had to put him out of his misery. I think there's another zombie coming. Oh, shit. Damn, Mo. There's another zombie. And it's a farmer, too. Well, motherfucker, there could only be one farmer in this town. And it ain't you. A little room in there, behind bars. Wonder if we get up there, maybe we can drop into that room. Let's bust this out here. Then jump up here, knock these boxes out of the way. And boom! Oh, there's a backpack. No way down into that little room, though. Not busting through that concrete, there's gotta be another way. Oh! Damn it. Nothing in there. And uh, I think that's it for this little area. Let's head up to the rooftop. Any birds up here? Looks like I find myself hoping for birds. So we can get more rotten flesh. Keep our farm growing. I know I said in the beginning of the episode that I think we're at a point where the farm... Oh, duh. That's the backpack we already searched. Uh, I believe the farm is at a point where it will um, provide us with the nutrition that we need, but at the same time, I want to keep growing it. What the hell? That's the point. See how big we can make it. Right, Big Mama? You know about making things big. Like those panties. Fucking parachute off this building with those panties. Now, here's that little room with the bars. Food we can't eat and water. 
And this looks like the only thing in here. So long, lady. Come here, Mo. Oh, shit. Got him. Dead. You the last one, Mo? Looks that way. We'll hide behind the sneeze shield. Huh? Oh, you broke the sneeze shield, Mo. Alright, main stash room. We'll grab all this stuff, and then we'll take one last cruise around town before we leave. I didn't see, obviously, the mushroom house or the dumping lung, but... It may have been a road that I missed. Alright, what do we got there? That is the, uh, the Iron Breaker mod. Now, we have the Bunker Buster on the Iron Pickaxe already. Let's put the Iron Breaker on there now. The, the Bunker Buster does more damage against stone, and the Iron Breaker, obviously, more damage against iron. So, two of the probably best mods to have on your pickaxe. There's the dumping lung. I knew there was one in this town. Now, I don't have much inventory space at all. Let's see what room I can make here. Can drink this water. Take this vitamin. We can scrap uh, some of this shit, these arrows. Um, guess that's it, really. Okay, well, we're going to go in through the top, even though if there are mushrooms, they're going to be underground. But we're going to go through the whole POI anyway. Uh, obviously, I'm only going to loot or take things that uh, I feel are necessary, because we are encumbered and we don't have much room left. Get over here, buddy. Look at this guy's fucking feral. Already dealing with feral zombies on day 14. we got to get rid of these blunder buses. we only got 17 rounds left anyway. We'll use them throughout this POI, and this will be the last day we go out with blunder buses. Uh, start bringing a pistol. Probably a pistol and uh, the bow. We'll start bringing out with us. Alright, here we go. Now, I've looted this place plenty of times. I don't ever remember seeing mushrooms here, but little details like that escape my mind. So, I can certainly be wrong about that. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. And see if we can find some. we got a sleeper up there, sleeper right there. Let's turn our light off and creep up on this woman. Oh, we got Big Mama, too. Yeah, woke her up. No big deal. Nah, she dead. I guess we didn't wake up that other woman, though. No, I'll eat the peas. I'm going to drink one of these red teas also. They give you a little buff that uh, helps you digest a little bit slower. Look at our hunger bar, man. It is full still. We've managed to keep a full hunger bar this entire episode just using baked potatoes. We haven't even touched the pumpkin bread yet. That's good. That gives me hope for the future. Oh, shit. Fuck off, dude. Well, I haven't seen any mushrooms. And I've been checking the walls and the ceilings. And this is the end of this place. I don't remember seeing any mushrooms in the final uh, loot room. So, who knows? Not blaming you guys. Hey, memories are a weird thing. They play tricks on us all the time. Some coal. Shit ton of coal down here. No mushrooms, though. Alright, well, it was a quick little raid. Not bad. Get a little more cement, a little more cobblestone. We'll grab this main stash, if we can fit it in our inventory, that is. And I guess we'll call it a day.
That's a uh, meat stew. Yeah, I can't eat that. Uh, take the corn and the honey, leave the eggs, and we got a uh, secret stash in the corner here. Let's check that out. Hey, Molotovs and military armor parts, which we can fit. We can't fit the Molotovs, though. Let's uh, get rid of this sand, take the Molotovs, and we are good to go. Man, I am going to feel like an idiot, though, if I skipped over an area that had mushrooms down here. But I checked everywhere. I didn't see any. So, who knows? Well, no mushroom house, but this POI would be pretty good to raid. Butcher Pete's. It's another, like, food POI. Yeah, it's a butcher, so there's going to be meat and stuff in there, obviously. But, uh... Who knows? Maybe find some mushrooms in there. And this POI also is another good place to raid. Dig up some graves. Go raid the catacombs down below. So these two POIs will hit up uh, next time we're in this town. Maybe tomorrow, before we deal with the horde. farm is looking good we need even more rotten flesh though to keep this thing growing but you know what those two POIs we were just looking at butcher Pete's and the cemetery across the street I think we can find a good amount of rotten flesh in both of those places so I think that is going to be the plan for tomorrow we'll go raid those two POIs we'll come back here we'll do some upgrading to the barn get geared up and bring on our third horde here in farmer Glock Let's do some upgrading now, actually. Oh, that's it on the concrete. Why the fuck is the sky red? There's not gonna be a horde tonight, right? No. Okay, it's going away. <laughs> I almost had a fucking heart attack. I was like, well, we're not doing random hordes. We are going to do random hordes on Ramblin' Man, though. The first series that we do in Alpha 20. So that should be fun. All right, um, I'm going to do some work down in the bunker to get some stone that we're going to need to make more concrete. And I got to get all this stuff put away and organized. And uh, that's going to be it for tonight. We'll pick things up on the morning of day 15. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.